Hey guys, I received one query day before yesterday that how to create the profit and loss statement using trial balance data. So this is the Excel file which he has sent. So we have some elements of the PNL like sales, cost of sales and other expense items. And here we have the stores. And in the next sheet, which is the data sheet, we have the accounts, the store code and their respective amounts for the month. And here we have the groupings that which accounts will go into sales, which accounts will go into cost of sales and like that. So this work, he has already done it. So that's good because that's the basis of the grouping of these numbers. Okay. Now we cannot use VLOOKUP here. Okay. Because let's say if you are trying to fill this cell for sales for this store, then what happens? When we do VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP will only give the first item from the sales. If we use VLOOKUP, it will just give you first results from the top, which it will find. We will use some ifs because there are multiple conditions to be matched. Okay. So that's the place where I will write the formula because store 1 PNL, store 2 PNL, and this is just the summation of both the PNLs. So we are not worried about the total PNL. So to start with some ifs, some range, which column to sum? So we'll go to TB and we will say we want to sum column E. I will use F4 so that I can freeze this column because every time this has to be summed up. Then it is asking where will be the criteria 1. So let us say that our criteria 1 will be our grouping, PNL groupings. I will use F4 again. What will be the current criteria? I will go back to my PNL structure and there that is the cell for the current criteria. I will use dollar against column section because that needs to be fixed and row can move because for cost of sales it will be row number 10. Go back to TB again. Next criteria is store code F4 and the current criteria and we will use E3 because that is the store code for this particular cell and we will freeze row number 3 because every time it will be available in row number 3. Close the bracket and press enter and you get this result. Now let us fill it in all the cells. You can copy it and then select all the cells where you want to copy it. So using control key you can select multiple cells. For now let me paste it here and then these cells, this one and this one also, control V. One two three okay so that way my full pnl is ready using this method okay now i can simply copy paste all these formulas in the second column also and this is what you will get okay so first section was showing using some ifs where we were saying okay sum this range and this is the criteria range one and current criteria will be this cell this is the criteria range two which is for stores column and current criteria is this cell. So this is it from my side. Hope you found it useful. Please share your feedback in the comment section and which all ways you use to create a PNR. And if you feel that we are adding value to your Excel knowledge, then please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.